Well, we were told four years ago during the Obama administration, no how, no way do we have to worry about North Korea. North Korea won't have the bomb. Well, now they have a missile, a strategic ballistic missile. The last trajectory said could have hit Alaska. If the trajectory changed, it could have hit the west coast of the United States. This is a problem that the Obama administration would not and did not take on. And the problem is that this has been a problem for two prior administrations as well. But again, nothing has been done about it. And now we're in a crisis position where we're going to have to act militarily. But we cannot put this on President Obama's former administration. He bears responsibility for not doing more to neutralize North Korea. But he had his reasons. Whether they were legitimate or not, we don't know. But it looks like they were not because North Korea now is at an all-time threat to threaten America and her allies in that region. But this started under the Clinton administration. He did nothing. George Bush Jr., he was very, very aware of North Korea and threatened them many times. And they showed him in his face they cared nothing about his veiled threats and continued building that weapon. Now Donald Trump is in charge. And he has warned them and warned them and asked China to help him in dealing with North Korea. But North Korea is ignoring all of them and moving forward with this weapon. North Korea, I think, wants a war. But America better be very careful because we're already involved in conflict in Syria, still a war in Afghanistan and a war in Iraq. If we get involved with North Korea, it would make those wars look like child's play. And I'm going to warn the American people. Have you watched the prices of gas this summer? Prices of gas is at an all-time low during the highest travel peak season of the year, the summer vacation time. But America know the super rich must have a war to raise those prices back up to generate the billions they've been losing in low gas prices. And what they're going to do is risk to the draft and send poor children, black, white, and brown, to fight a war so the rich can get rich with another conflict and put it under the guise it's in America's best interest. I don't trust it, and don't you let them send your child to fight in the war so rich can get rich while you get poor. Well, so what you're asking for the American people to do is put their tin hats on, that there's some awesome conspiracy here by the rich to create a war. It's ridiculous. Gas prices are low for one simple reason. One simple reason. That is because there is a glut of gas in the market today because of the fact that uh, fr fracking has made it very, very, very cheap to pull no, oil out of the prices ground. Prices are high because this Saudi Arabia, one simple because thing Saudi Arabia has talk. lowered the prices very talk. low. They control the oil market, not talk. fracking, sir. I let you finish. What this comes down to is one simple thing. China has a choice that it needs to make right here and right now. Do they want to continue to grow and flourish at their economy, or do they want to return to the days of the Cold War? Okay, and the what, Trump if administration starts, has got to make that if known. If a war starts, send your family members.